Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich. I've been doing a lot about our prairie flowers, and I wanted to show a couple of the grasses. Uh, today I'm going to show the side oats grandma, and I've got a few of them uh, here in the native, my little native garden up front. But side oats grandma, it's uh, native to prairies and woodlands, mostly in the southern part of Minnesota. You can see it's about uh, two to three feet tall. Um, it loves average to dry, well-drained soil. So uh, make sure that it doesn't sit and have wet feet. Um, but it uh, loves well-drained soil. It can handle dry conditions. It wants full sun, something. This is our spot here uh, where we've got it. Absolute full sun, uh, especially in the afternoon. A little shaded here in the morning, but uh, full sun in the afternoon. Um, how did it get its name, the Side Oats Grandma? I'm going to try to let's see if I can put my camera in here and zoom in and see if you can see this. Let me. The little spikes. You see those little flowers? Little orange red. Sometimes they're purplish. Um, they form on one side. Mostly one side of the plant. Get sorry, get my tripod out of the. Um, they form on one side, and uh, they're just they're beautiful. They're very subtle. Um, let me move over to another one. That's over here. You can see how everything's sitting on one side. Uh, so it's got those those flowers, uh, kind of that reddish. Well, sometimes purple, but uh, sitting on one side, and then uh, towards the summer, you know, this midsummer they'll start blooming, and then uh, it'll turn kind of a straw color um, as it gets towards fall. Now I've got this combined with uh, a blue stem right next to it, but the side of its grandma, um, it, it's a green gray kind of foliage. You can see the leaves. Not a lot of leaves, but uh, it's it's a very uh, you know vertical plant, um, gray green in the summer, turns straw colored in the fall. Um, it's a bunchy grass. You can see if I can move the little blue stem out. It, it's formed a nice bunch. Makes little short rhizomes and makes a little. Um, a little bunch for the plant, uh, a little bunchy plant. See the whole plant there sitting in with the others. Um, in the the winter, fall and winter, birds will eat the seed, so it's a nice little seed plant. And then uh, it'll it'll drop some seeds to start the next plant. Um, it's a very good uh, provider of food during the winter. Now, uh, some people I've read they will mow it. Uh, in the spring just to promote growth. What I do is I burn it. I'll uh, come in, let me move back to this bunch. You know, it's a it's a bunchy plant. I'll just bring a uh, little torch and I'll burn it come March, burn it down right to the ground and uh, it provides some good ash to help get the plant going and it, the new growth will pop right up out of it. So um, a great companion plant I guess that blue stem next to it is kind of dominant uh, in this in this shot, but uh, it's a beautiful plant. Here, I'll move over here. Here's a side oats grandma in with some milkweed, um, in with some of the vervain. It just adds a nice vertical presence in with the garden. I, I love having the the grasses. Oops, sorry. I love having the grasses in with the plants. Just to add uh, uh, some support, add some uh, vertical flavor to the garden, um, and just having those, you know, here it is with some milkweed. But just those little flowers in with it just adds a different uh, feel to the whole garden. So the side oats grandma, um, it's a often overlooked grass, but it's beautiful in the uh, native garden. So thanks for uh, watching. Uh, I'm adding all these to a playlist, so if you want to... Uh, Check out all the uh, flowers and grasses of the native uh, little prairie I'm trying to create here or a, a butterfly garden. Um, check out our playlist. Thanks everybody for watching. Take care.